You probably won't believe it, but I'm standing in one of the most complex urban farms in Los Angeles, and we're just a stone's throw away from downtown. Let's visit Sky Farm on today's BFD. This is Sky Farm, and we're almost in the downtown Los Angeles, but this place has got everything from bees to gardens to chickens. Let's talk to the owners and find out why they created this place and why it's so important for our future. And so we're here with the owners and founders of Sky Farm, Mino Palouse, Ilsa Ackerman, and their two lovely daughters, Meta and Bindi. Thank you so much for having us, guys. First off, how did you guys come to create this place, or, or resurrect it, I guess, as you were sort of saying earlier? Opened up the newspaper one day, she did, and it said, for sale by owner, artist vision required. Okay. Which means dump. <laughs> yeah, which means <laughs> but we, but we took yeah. it literally. We came up here with a whole lot of artist vision. It essentially always looked like this to us, and it scared everyone else. Nobody had lived here for 20 years. And the only thing that was alive here were these big yuccas above us, some of the larger trees, but everything else was just brown. The house was a foot off level. Wow. All the windows were out, the porch was falling off. I mean, it was a complete and total wreck. And now it's this sort of thriving uh, sky farm of sorts up here in the hills, but it's in a sprawling urban environment all around us, right? But you guys have found this sort of... It's our Shangri-La. It, it's your little Shangri-La. And what are some of the features here that make it so unique? Well, we have bees for honey and for pollination and just for general planet goodness. Mm -hmm. We have chickens for eggs, geese for eggs. We have a vegetable garden for our greens, some fruit trees, an earth oven. We bake our own bread in the earth oven. We collect our rainwater. Yeah, some other friends as well, some furry ones and some slithery ones. What do we have, girls? Um, mm. We have three geese, two ducks, eight chickens, one tortoise, two parakeets, two uh, Cocktail. cocktails, two, dog two and dogs, two, two cats, cats, and eight. two little baby quails. Wow. That's... And one got eaten. So that's what the notion of it having an, an urban homestead is about. We've got the, the life of farmers, but we also have the life of the city. Mino's career demands being in an urban setting. As a photographer who shoots celebrities, you know, it's Los Angeles or New York. I grew up in the country in Massachusetts, and I never thought that I would settle in a city. Mm -hmm. you this know, is how I get to keep her. This is how I get to keep her. <laughs> it's been a decade of just doing it ourselves. The first three chickens finally got big enough, and Ilsa said, you're going to have to go build them a house outside. <laughs> a lot of moves were last minute desperation. Something wow. needs a house, build it. I learned a lot from my mom and I wanted my kids to understand. And their, you know, their school has a big gardening program now, which I've helped to pilot. And you know, my daughter is volunteering to get the composting started in the cafeteria and starting a garden club. And so I just feel that it's a knowledge that I wanted to be able to pass down to my children. What are some of the things that you think that people who don't necessarily have this kind of a, a, you know, land space. Uh, what are some things that people can do on, on their own? I mean, I've certainly heard of people in New York City keeping beehives on their balconies. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I think it's possible to have at least a small garden, a container garden, almost anywhere, anywhere where there's sun. You know, chickens can actually be kept in a remarkably small space. So for you guys, it sounds like sustainability at its core is about education. You know, what, what can someone do to really be sustainable? You can have great kids <laughs> and you can raise them really well. Yeah. You can contribute to the solution. The first thing you learn as a parent, and then this really does apply to the rest of the world, is that nobody learns anything from what you say. They learn from what you do. Right. So. You, you know, you got right. a philosophy, go live it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for having us. Excellent, thanks You're for coming so up to Sky well. Farm. Yeah. Yeah. It's really great to see people gardening in a complex urban environment like this. They care about sustainability, they care about the planet, they care about what they're putting into their bodies. If you care about GMO labeling, then click the link in the description below to support it because everybody should know what they're putting into their bodies. For BFD, I'm David Park. Make sure you subscribe. subscribed.